Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome back. Problem seven point three three. So the statement of problem is that solve problem seven point ten using Mohor circle. So the statement of problem ten is given over here. So this is given state of stress. So you have to solve this using Mohor circle, and you have to find the orientation of maximum uh, plane of maximum in plane sharing stress. maximum in plane sharing stress and corresponding stress so let's start with the given data so it is given that sigma x which is 2 ksi here sigma y which is given as 10 ksi and it is tensile so 10 ksi and sharing stress that is top x y is given as minus 3 it is given 3 but you must know how it is minus 3 ksi clear so again you have to find the part first is orientation of maximum in shear plane so you have to find theta s1 and theta s2 the second part is you have to find the maximum in plane sharing stress that is maximum sharing stress in plane clear then you have to find the corresponding normal stress that is given as sigma dash clear so let's start with the solution so for drawing more circle we know that we need x to plot the point that is center x if you do not have center it's okay but you know that x is represented as sigma x comma minus tau of xy y is represented as sigma y comma tau of xy and center is sigma average comma 0 so again x point is sigma x is 2 and tau of x y is minus 3 so minus 3 and this minus 3 it will be plus 3 clear similarly sigma y is 10 and tau of xy is minus 3 clear n sigma average which is sigma average is equal to sigma x plus sigma y divided by 2 so you can see that sigma x is 2 and sigma y is 10 so it is 12 by 2 which is 6 ksi so sigma average is 6 comma 0 now we will plot them on a graph so let's move forward here so i have to choose the axis let this is your x axis clear similarly for y axis so on x axis you will have normal stresses and in y axis you have this is for normal stresses and this is for sharing stresses so again you have to draw them as per uh, uh you can say scale so let we take this one division as 1 ksi similarly on y axis this will be 1 ksi so this will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 ten so this point is 10 similarly this is 1 2 3 4 5 and in below we have minus 1 Minus two, minus three, minus four. So let's plot the first point that is x, which is two comma three. So on x axis you have to go two, and on y axis you have to go to three units. So this point is x point, clear? Which is equal to two comma three. I will not write it again. I am going to delete it because I have to draw the. mohor circle so this is your x point 2 comma 3 this point similarly you have to plot point y which is 10 comma minus 3 so 10 on x axis and 3 is on minus 3 so this point is minus 3 clear minus 1 minus 2 and minus so this point is your uh, 10 comma minus 3 again this is point y now if you want to locate center you can also but uh, 
or drawing the mohar circle you have to join this point directly with this point and you can see that this center lies at point 6 which is given over here now you have to draw the let this is this is your center point c this is your origin point o now you have to open the compass and you have to take the distance c x r c y and you have to draw a circle so i am here it is not possible for me to draw the but i have to adjust the circle as per uh, ease my ease yeah. so you have to move this circle and you have to adjust it again when you draw it by using a compass it will be a perfect one and you you do not have then to move the circle as well so after drawing the circle your uh, figure will look like this clear now you can see that this line cx represent x axis this cy represent the uh, normal stress on y axis clear so you know that this is point x so what we if if you want the principal stresses so let this is point b and this is point a so for finding the principal stresses you have to move the element through this angle which is 2 theta p but it is not given uh, it is not required in the question the question is that you have to find the uh, orientation of in plane shear so you can see that maximum shearing stress will be over here so if i draw a line so it will be like this so we have to find this angle 2 theta s here and again if when you find 2 theta s you can divide it by 2 so you have to find this so first we will find 2 theta p and then we will subtract 2 theta p 90 the whole is 90 degrees so we will subtract it so we will get 2 theta s clear now you can see this is the point if you project this point there on x axis so this point let this point is f so you have fx which is vertical distance and this fx is 3 clear so 3 3 ksi you can say or you simply you can use 3 similarly you have this distance fc clear so this fc will be equal to oc minus of clear so oc minus of clear so of is equal to 2 you can see this is x distance so this is 2 and oc was 6 so 6 minus 2 is equal to 4 so fc is equal to 4 now you can find tangent uh, this 2, t, 2 theta p by using formula tangent of 2 theta p is equal to fx over c fc clear so fx is equal to 3 and fc is equal to 4 so that will be 2 tangent of theta p is equal to tangent inverse 3 over 4 so that will give you angle 36.86 degree so this will be your theta p 1 clear now theta p same this means that if you rotate the element through this 2 theta p so you will get the principal stresses again the same state of stress or principal stress can be obtained when you rotate this and this angle so from this to this it will be equal to 2 theta p plus 180 degree so this is your 180 degree and this is your 2 theta p1 so again 2 theta p2 is equal to 2 theta p1 plus 180 degree 
layer so it will be 36.86 degree plus 180 degree will be equal to 216.86 degree so this is 2 theta p2 now you can find theta p1 by dividing it 2 theta p2 with by 2 so you will get theta p1 will be equal to 18.43 degree this angle is for representation on the element while representing the angle in Mohr circle you will use 2 theta p1 and theta p2 will be equal to 108.43 degree now you have theta p1 and theta p2 you can find theta s1 clear so now from this figure you can see this is 2 we are interested to find out 2 theta s so clear so 2 theta s1 so this is for s1 the let me explain it as well maximum sharing stress can be obtained if you rotate the element orientation I through an angle of 2 theta s1 in clockwise uh, sorry in clockwise direction or it can be obtained if we rotate this element through this angle which is equal to this total is 180 so 180 minus 2 theta s will be this angle clear this will be your 2 theta s2 clear so first we will find theta s1 so theta s1 is equal to 2 theta p1 minus 90 degree because you can see from this figure that this is theta p 2 theta p1 so when you subtract uh, 2 theta uh, 90 this is uh, this 2 theta p1 is in in uh, counterclockwise so this will be positive clear so from whole 90 when you subtract it this angle which you move is in clock di uh, clockwise direction so 2 theta p1 which is equal to 36.86 minus 90 degree so 2 theta s1 comes out to be minus 53.14 degree so this angle rotation is 53.14 in clockwise direction again for element for representing the element theta s1 will be equal to 53.14 divided by 2 which is equal to minus 26.57 degree and theta s2 which is equal to theta s1 on element plus 90 degree so theta s1 is minus 26.57 degree plus 90 is equal to 63.43 degree so we have find out the orientation of maximum in plane shares that is theta s1 and theta s2 now the question is very easy now this is part A for part B we have to find out the maximum sharing stress and the maximum sharing stress is known as R and that is equal to uh, from Mohor circle let me uh, you can see this is R Cx is equal to R and that is equal to Fx whole square plus Fc whole square so Fx whole square plus fc whole square so that is equal to fx is 3 square and fc is equal to 4 square so that is 16 16 plus 9 25 which is equal to 5 there so maximum shear stress is 5 ksi so this is part B now we will move toward part C and part C is corresponding normal stress and that is equal to sigma average which is equal to sigma x plus sigma y divided by 2 so sigma x was 2 sigma y was 10 and divided by 2 which is equal to 6 ks ksi here so this is part 
see now if you want to represent them on element so i will show you over here so let uh, let me choose a small thickness here so let this is your initial x axis and this is your y axis now i have to represent the transform uh, uh, orientation of incline shear so 26.56 counter uh, negative so it is clockwise direction so let this angle is this is x axis and this angle is 20 minus 26.57 so you have to represent the element similarly your y axis y dash will be like this one here so i have i will draw the element so your maximum sharing stress will be uh, 5 ksi so it will be like this there this will be your um, tau max and that is equal to 5 ksi and your corresponding normal stress which is 6 ksi so it will be like this one Yeah, so this is sigma dash, which is equal to six ksi. Also, this is not a part of the question, but for your understanding, I am also drawing the transform section or transform element after the uh, rotation for uh, for finding the maximum shear stress. I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you like my videos, kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you.